Hi everyone and welcome to my channel, My Jewelry Addiction. My name's Tanya and I'm addicted to jewelry. Uh, look at this cool jar I got. That's a neat looking jar. There's all sorts of writing on there all the way around that lid. And anyway, it's a cool jar. It's an old canning jar, I guess. Uh, don't know what this one has in store, but there was a whole bunch of single earrings that, and these are the two that I got from the antique mall last week, and I haven't looked at them, so I'm going to go through these two real quick. expecting to find any major treasures in here. I did see this chain uh, in the jar and this is a cool chain. Um, and it turns out it's a full complete necklace and it's beautiful. So delicate and so pretty. And this jar was ten dollars. <gasps> what is this? Why is this in here? What is this? Where's my loot? This says 925. Um, I'm not sure if it is, but it does say 925. It, it's a really nice ring. Uh, it appears to be in excellent shape. This looks like stainless steel, and it says stainless steel. Um, it's a nice man's ring. And then what are you? Because you look like precious metal to me. These earring backs say 925. And they say 925 right on the stem. Yeah, you know what? My gem tester is plugged in and it's right here. And this goes all the way up into the uh, topaz. Wow. And they're both there with their backs. Um, probably rhodium plated, as shiny as they are. I don't know. Um, same with this ring. So, I'll have to test them. Um, what is happening here? another pair of earrings and here's another ring oh my gosh look at this one this is like mystic topaz and opal and it's got that really dark whatever it is kind of no freaking way. This is 10 carat. Um. <laughs> I swear this says 10k in there. It looks like it's um, blackened or uh, it, it looks like a really interesting gunmetal uh, what oh I see right here someone did scratch test it and it, I can see the copper underneath and that definitely looks like a copper color to me 
Uh, just to just to be on the safe side, I'm gonna hit it with the 14k. It does say 14k. No, it turned green and ate it away right away. Okay. Well then, let's test these. Um, these say sterling. the scratch mark on this one too. And I can see that one came up copper and the other one looks like a silver color. The earrings. So let's, oh wait, wrong acid. That's 14k. I'm testing for silver, so I'm going to use the 18k. I'm almost out of the 18k. I need to get a new bottle. And let's see what happens. Um, yeah, they know what they're doing. <laughs> Neither one of them turned silver or, you know, turned blue. So, uh, yeah. They do fake a lot of jewelry. Whoever they are, you know, those people who do that sort of thing. Um, and this one says it has a neat little mark on one side and um, this side says fifth uh, and it's got like a tension set ball in there which I could pop out and replace um, but <laughs> let's get it back in there now there we go. Um, I don't know. Is this one silver? This one actually does look silver. The way it's scratched like butter. And uh, no, it is not. It is not. Well, very cool. Anyhow, and this big old thing here is beautiful. Um, I don't see any marks in there. Um, it's just quite lovely. There's just big, beautiful stones all the way around that. Wouldn't it be nice if those were all diamonds? <laughs> It's actually very nicely done on the inside, too. Nicely prong set and on the outside. And these are testing as uh, Zip Zilch Nada. Um, yeah, very pretty. These look like they're silver. And these kind of look like they're silver, too, with the squiggly, kind of, maybe. But, I mean, it's a, uh, if even if they're not silver, I'm pleased with a $10 jar. Um, this is on a nice leather cord, and then it has um, whatever that is in stainless steel. And then this is just a nice, cool kind of mesh, silver tone necklace. You, not like I haven't seen you laying there on your backs. Just some really cool wood uh, post back earrings. Um, I saw these right off the gate. Oh, they're little angels or hearts. Um, it's origami. I was going to try to open it up, but I don't think that that's, yeah, they're not meant to be open up. Pair of earrings, super sweet. In the origami uh, this little pair here so I'm gonna uh, go ahead and assume that none of these are silver uh, 
I, I will just go out on a limb and say yes. None of these are silver and or precious metals. Those are cool. I've had some bracelets that those go with. If you got them, you might need those. <laughs> Maybe not. <laughs> and if you are new here, thank you for coming over and watching. I do appreciate you. And uh, yeah, if you haven't yet, please hit the like button, subscribe, and hit the bell for a notification so you know when I post my next video or go live. And be sure and leave a comment in this video. Let me know what your favorite item was. And thank you. Thank you for that. Uh, these are like carved, some natural something. Maybe. These actually look like maybe they're silver. Um, I only see one. So there's one of those. It looks like there's two of these. Very patriotic uh, post back earrings. Really cute. Get a pair of these, which are super heavy. Um, they are just really super heavy. They're solid on the bottom, not uh, hollowed out. And it's like steel or something. I don't know. Um, whatever this, oh, it's this. I, um, it, it's just about to get stuck in everything. Oh, it's an earring. How about that? It's like a little dragonfly earring. But. And what else? I've got one of these. Um, there is a little, oh my goodness, look at that. They did include a little, what looks to be a little tiny, tiny pair of sterling garnet earrings uh, with regular backs, but those definitely, even on the back side, um, the way it's done, it looks like probably silver to me, a very tiny, minuscule amount, and this little, whatever's those are, <laughs> I can't even see them, they're so tiny. Uh, this looks like another pair of those that say sterling that are not, and they're super cute, and there is a pair. <gasps> There's an actual fetish necklace in here as well. This is a cool jar for 10 bucks. I like it. Those are really pretty. And there's a little pair. Well, they're not even a pair. There's three separate ones. Uh, this one actually looks like it might be in silver. Three little studs. And a sweet little uh, liquid silver fetish necklace with a little birdie. Super sweet. And one of these stretch numbers. A little pair of blue a button earrings. And then there's some little heart dangle earrings. Oh my. Super cute. And one of those. Oh, there's two. Oh my gosh, there's two of these too. Oh, and here's all the mates to these other little ones. Oh, well, let's just fish around then. Fish around. I'm going to go shopping in a minute. I have some serious FOMO going on. I wasn't going to go anywhere because um, this has got to be my favorite item out of the game. Uh, this might be uh, Czechoslovakian, I think. Uh, very early, really pretty dainty piece. Perhaps something like that. Um, I wasn't going to go anywhere today, but I have... Yeah, I got all bundled up, uh, many layers to go out because it's 33 degrees here this morning. And uh, I don't think I am going to listen to myself. I got in my car and then I thought, where am I going? There's nowhere to go. You've picked this town over. <laughs> Unless I head out of town again. And... 
Um, I don't know that I really feel like heading out of town again. So, yeah. With that, you know what? I'm going to save this for number two. And then this one will be jewelry jar number three. You guys have a beautiful and blessed day. Peace out. Yeah, I got to go. I got to go. The uh, fear of missing out is really getting to me. So I got to go. I got to go hunting.